The state official who asked the taxpayers to pay for fancy hotels and private plane rides has stepped down just one day after that spending was exposed. 7 Action News investigator Heather Catalo joins us now. And Heather, this happened uh, really fast, didn't it? Yes, it did, Carolyn. And not only did Scott Woosley spend a lot of taxpayer dollars traveling the globe, we've discovered he owed the feds a lot of money at the time he got hired to run the state's housing development authority. Scott Woosley is stepping down. His resignation as executive director of the Michigan State Housing Development Authority, or MISHTA, comes just one day after news broke that Woosley and his staff had racked up more than $200,000 in expenses. You know, what we're seeing is, uh, again, is a pattern of abuse um, by this administration in their spending. And what we found was very disturbing. The Michigan Democratic Party used the Freedom of Information Act to obtain hundreds of pages of receipts and expense reports that suggest the taxpayers have been funding some luxurious living. The receipts show more than 23 grand in rides on state owned private planes, $10,000 in first class airfare to China, more than $30,000 for trips to the Middle East, where Woosley stayed at a Ritz Carlton in South. Saudi Arabia, plus receipts for meals that included escargot, oysters, and filet mignon. MISHTA is a state housing financing agency that's supposed to help low and moderate income people get loans for affordable housing. I don't know why somebody who's trying to build housing in, in, in Michigan is in Dubai, quite frankly. Uh, now, there may be reasons that we're seeking investors. Travel overseas isn't necessarily a bad thing. What we need, though, is to make sure we're doing it for the lowest possible expense so that we protect taxpayer dollars. In May of 2012, Governor Rick Snyder appointed Woosley to the Michigan Land Bank Fast Track Authority. A few months later, in October of 2012, the 51-year-old real estate financial developer got the MISHTA job. But one week after Woosley took over MISHTA, this federal tax lien for more than $105,000 was filed against Woosley's Rochester home for not paying income taxes. The state also filed this tax lien against Woosley for nearly $12,000. Both liens were quickly paid off. Woosley has also offered to pay back any of his state expenses that were improperly reimbursed. In a written statement today about his sudden resignation, Woosley said, I don't want recent news reports to be a distraction from the transformative work that is happening at MISHTA and across the state. A talented management team is in place at MISHTA that is poised to help our programs and projects succeed to their fullest potential. The Democrats are asking for the Auditor General to review Woosley's spending. We have asked if the governor was aware of Woosley's tax liens when Woosley was hired. We're not getting any answers to that question so far. As for Scott Woosley, he's not answering questions right now either. He just quit really, really fast. Yes, the day and, after the news came out. And amazing that this kind of spending would come from someone in charge of a government agency that helps those who are less fortunate or, or struggling. Well, and it, they're going to take a look at everything that was reimbursed and make sure everything was done with the state regulations on it, but a lot a lot of spending that a lot of people are going, hmm. Yeah. And I wonder, he promised he'd write a check if he had to, but um, now that he's quit, I mean. Well, we'll follow up on that. I know you <laughs> will, Heather Cachalo. Thank you so much. Thanks,